All right, welcome back, everybody. We are in the full swing with Thousand Year Door, taking over the three-day time slot. And, as always, well, in between chapters, we got some stuff to do. Like, read this. New Evil Society, the x not sighted in Bully Bogley Woods. Silly outfits reported. Could they be linked to organized crime in our fair city? Absolutely not. And what does the back of this sign have to say? Graffiti corner. What's the legendary actress Flurry up to? Her adoring fans want to know. Badly. Theater fan. We won't tell the fans that she's traveling with me. Anyway, so. Um, I don't think there's going to be too much I can do in terms of cooking. However, there, that's not to say that there isn't anything I can do in terms of cooking. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tackle the troubles first. Because I could probably get the... Like, I don't think this will take too long. Oh. I might be wrong. Alright. So, we've got some relatively easy ones to tackle. One of which... Only one actually requires us to go back to Bogley Woods. So, we're going to do that one first. I'm getting up there in years, so I want me some life insurance. A life mushroom. Sorry, hold on. I'm in no big hurry, but sometime before my time comes would be nice. Please meet me in the great tree in Bogley Woods. You want to take the puny? Yes. So, the reason why I want to do this one first is because we can get a mystic egg from the from Pink Poony Girl. And that is something I would like to have before when we do recipes because that's actually like that can be made through a single item recipe. So we're going to go right back down to our fast travel zone. The one of the probably one of the greatest additions in this entire game. And I'm going to remember that I haven't even placed the crystal star in the, um, the on the door yet. So I can't actually access Bogley Woods just yet. So. <sighs> Alright. And I can't actually leave that room because I'm blocked on both ways. So. Let's, um... Yeah. Let's go and, I guess, we're just gonna have to take the long way, honestly. I don't really want to progress the story just yet, so... Yeah, we'll, I'll meet you guys at the, uh, the Great Tree. Okay, there we go. So, let's go right in. Now... <laughs> I will be 100% honest, we are sacking our only life mushroom for this. However, this might actually be largely better. Right! You're the gent that said that you'd help me out, right? I'm counting on you. I'm getting in on in years. So I feel a lot safer if I had my life mushroom around. Yes. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Yes. Oh, glory, you got one! My life mushroom, lovely, yes! Thank you, thank you, Martio. And you have made it before I actually needed it. <gasps> Here, take this as a reward. A life mushroom is like health insurance. I'll live a long life now, for certain. So, this is exactly why it's better to use a life mushroom you found, because it costs 50 coins to buy a life mushroom. The You basically just get your money back as the reward. So, it's a good thing we still had that life mushroom from Hooktail Castle. Also, after I'm finished with this kid, I have some questions about the life mushroom. Punio's always getting in trouble with the Elder. It's no fun for me. Hey, hey, Mario, can't you play with me instead? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, this is awesome. Ready to play Stump Petunie? You ask me any questions you want, there isn't a question I can't answer. That's false advertising. It should be noted that Petunie can only answer one question. And that question is, Mario likes which person the most. 
There are four different slots with three answers each, and she can only answer one combination. This is a prime example of someone so young thinking they're so great. I, 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 it's, it is basic kid stuff where they think they know everything, but realistically she's pretty stupid. Before we leave though, there is one other thing, aside from questioning the life mushrooms, which I haven't forgotten. I would like to talk to this dude over here. So if anybody wants to go for a full catalog, I'm going to show you something I figured out that I had, I did not think of would the, would be think would be the uh, the solution. So, what you need to do is you need to actually practice action commands with uh, the battle toad here. And the battle toad sets up these Goomba cardboard cutouts. You probably remember them from like Color Splash or Origami King. So. Here's the thing about these cardboard cutouts. They count towards your catalog. I kid you not. Goom boards are actually a part of the catalog. That's a goom board. It's a goomba drawn on a board. I think the master made this. He's surprisingly talented. It's unclear what its max HP is. No attack or defense either. This thing is sturdy, though. It won't break no matter how hard you hit it, so don't hold anything back. Yeah. Those count. And it's kind of amazing that they do. So yeah, if at any point you wanted to fill out the catalog and you might have been stuck on anything, there's your answer. It's the Goom Board. Bam. Number 10. I'll meet you guys back in Roadport. Alright, next, next trouble to crack at. So, let's talk about the life mushrooms. Uh, let's just do this one because it's quick and easy and I can just, like, talk over the entire time I'm walking. Alright, so, life mushrooms, as we know, basically, they, they revive you when your HP hits zero. If... The Puni Elder is using that as a life insurance. Does that just mean that holding onto a life mushroom means you'll you'll never die? And given the description, does that mean that everybody has an HP value? Does is people aware of an HP value? How does this work? Is a life mushroom like life insurance or like how how does this work? Are you just invincible when you have one? Like the Puni Elder dies of old age and the life mushroom saves her. How exactly does that work? Ooh, Kook Pook, hide and seek. Yeah, I got some serious questions for this freaking um, life mushroom business. Hello there, Mario. Welcome to the parlor. Oh, you took on my trouble. This is so super. Well, okay, here's your token of appreciation. Gambling tokens. That's right. Gambling promotion. Yeah, that's true. Please, please don't actually gamble in real life, kids and folks and anybody, really. Like, Jesus Murphy. The amount of gambling ads I see nowadays is just... Honestly. Gamble responsibly, but please gamble. That's basically what they're telling you. I screwed up on the easiest one. Hold on, I wanna... I want to prove that what I'm saying is complete. You know what? No, 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 no. If I got to prove anything, we need to stop right here, right now. All right. So, now that we got that trouble out of the way, we also have the super boots. Meaning I can flip over a lot of panels now. Which means we'll have a lot more star pieces at our disposal. Um, the, the, I did already get one, and that was the one just outside, just in the same room as the Boggly Woods pipe entrance. So, just know that I actually did get that. Um, there's one here. I know, honestly, the only reason why I got that first one is because it's basic, it's instinct at this point. I know where this stuff is, and I just go for it. Like... Honestly, this is just what I do now. I know this game so well. 
almost, I, I feel like I'm at a point where I've got almost every single secret memorized. Um, but yeah, we now only have one more trouble to do. And that probably will take up the rest of the episode, honestly. But that's okay. We'll grab this. And then we're going to be going down the Pit of Hunter Trials, but not too terribly far. Because we only have to go to floor 18 for this trouble. Which shouldn't be... It, that'll be honestly easy. No matter what level I'm at, no matter what my uh, status is, floor 18 is simple. The enemies won't be very hard. Heck, chapter 1 and prologue enemies are literally flooded the uh, first 10 floors. While chapter 2 and some opening chapter 3 enemies will be in the uh, 10 through 19. 10 through 19. So, but I do want to go through each area because, again, star pieces. And this is 100% the perfect opportunity to get that one star piece that I feel like I will forget if I just don't get it right now. And that is the one directly in front of the Black Cursed Chest that we encountered at the very beginning of the game. So, ignore these guys. Like, oh, we can also do this. I'll get the uh, entrance to the uh, pipe room later. But we want to. I want to uncover everything here, regardless of whether or not I'll need it. Happy Heart P probably won't even use it, but again, it's just nice to hold on to. Plus, I need it for the badges. Again, hundred percent, guys. We got to get everything. Which means every star piece. Alright. Um, yeah, there's so much stuff I have to remember. I gotta remember to do the cooking. I gotta go and trade some badges. Uh, I wanna get the W emblem. Like, that's an important one. We need that if we're going to be Waluigi. Alright. Now, also... Did I get the, um... Shine Sprite over here? I didn't. Perfect. We'll grab this while we're at it. Perfect. And then... You really couldn't just jump the fence, Mario? You were high enough. You could have moved. Star piece here. Little toad here. You took on my trouble? Oh, thank the stars. This is just terrible. My dad went into the Pit of Hundred Trials and he never came out. He lost his job and said the only way to support us was the pitch treasure. But I don't need treasure. I just want my dad back. Please help him. I hate to break it to that poor toad. Unless you can fight a hundred or so enemies, the pitch treasure is not going to help you. I want to make it vitally clear that if you want the pitch treasure, as in the shit at the very bottom... You're going to be so disappointed. You are better off just fighting the enemies and getting the coins that they drop when you beat them. And even then, you could just grind the first few floors, honestly. Alright, so... I'm going to be 100% real. I am showing all of this. This is going to be a long episode for something that, uh... Honestly, should, have been, should be taken care of in a much better light. But I'm pretty sure people do want to see this kind of stuff, so... Well, I can imagine maybe some people would want to see all this. Gloombas are still worth something. Interesting. Um, we don't have to tattle on too much down here, though, because... I'm not tattling on anything that's not in their no local or native habitat. So, I won't need to tattle on pokies. I won't need to tattle on... Anything else, because I already have. Because I are, like, Gloombas and Paragloombas are about the only things I'm going to need to tattle on. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I can make this battle really easy if I just swap to Coops. Uh, never, oh, fresh juice. I can use this. That's perfect. I need some FP. Because they all have three HP. Which is exactly what PowerShell... Oh, a Dizzy Dial. 
Yeah, sure, why not? I'll take it. I can use the money. This is also good because if I want to buy the W emblem, I'm going to need the money for it. I just need a little bit, a few more coins, which the Pit of 100 Trials already just basically gave me. So we're good. Perfect. A mover. We are 100% going down five floors. I know this is costing me the 30 coins, but we'll get that money back. I guess I could just cut out um, transitions between floors. Like, honestly, who needs to see me constantly go down a pipe? But, um, yeah. I do, not, I do not have any intentions of coming back to the Pit of 100 Trials b before the end of the game. Because, well, I'm just going to stream the Pit of 100 Trials. Let's, let's be honest. Alternatively, what I could do is I could do everything before I fight the final boss. So once we finish Chapter 7, that's when I can... Oh no, because there are some troubles that actually can't be... You actually can't get trouble, some troubles until after you beat the Shadow Queen. So, yeah. We might as well just beat the game before we finish everything. Yeah, so I'll probably stream- I'll beat the game and then I'll stream the Pit of Under Trials and we'll clean up everything else that needs to be cleaned up. That sounds like a pretty ideal plan. Okay, once again I have no FP. But right now we don't really need it. Dull Bones are still worth something. Okay, so I'm not used to this because I usually do fight everything I encounter. So, enemies still being- enemies like this still being worth star points is unusual for me. I'm probably at a higher level at this point in, in my usual playthroughs. Alright, our first... Um, yeah, we'll just grab this. It's another Sleepy Stomp, which... I guess technically I don't need it. Like, I don't really have any intention of stacking these badges. Sleep is, like, a good status condition, but I feel like I don't need an enemy to be asleep for five or more turns because, well, I could finish it off before then. Okay. Um. Yeah. You know what? I'd like to tattle on this thing right now, but I also don't want it to use the life there that Super Shroom it has. So I'm just gonna kill it. There's another one midway down anyway, so it doesn't matter. I should have I probably should have upgraded my partners before I went down here. Because uh, I could really use Goombella's uh, stronger head bonking abilities. Ooh, a courage shell. Will I, um, yeah, I can see use for that. Uh, I have to remember. I'm gonna make a list of the recipes and their most ideal way of making them. So that way I have a list right in front of me instead of using the internet. Because I, uh, definitely will need the list. Oh yeah, Koops, don't take any of that damage. Alright, well, we know the deal here. Mario takes care of this guy. I will admit, going into the Pit of Under Trials, like, right now, the only problem is it's going to be a slow slug because I'm still not all that strong. I still- my hammer does two and my jump does four, and Koops is still my only upgraded party member, so we're doing slow damage. Left. We can hit him with coops. Oh, but there's a bunch of them. I don't have Quake Hammer on. Uh, interesting. Alright. 
fine. <laughs> I don't really want that third one to use its Earthquake, so we need to kind of think this one through. However, I'm not going to go through the full animation either. We only need two points of damage, and this should do it. Yep, there we go. Wow, and they're... Wow, enemies... These Chapter 2 enemies are still worth something. I kind of like that. another mover. Hold on, let me just double check. We're on floor 13. If I go, you know what? Nah, I'm just gonna go down two floors. I don't want to, I don't want to take the risk of overshooting it, so we'll go down to floor 15 as opposed to 18. Higher. Alright. I'm gonna get Goombella out because she, I need her for the next, uh... Oh, wait, there's a Paragloomba right here. Perfect. So, he won't be able to use that Super Mushroom so long as it's, um... There's no reason to use it. So if I just kill the Pyder right here, Goombella can tattle on the Paragloomba, and then we get our tattle, and then we're good. Like, the main reason why I didn't want to skip over Paragloombas. I want to get the tattle now while I'm here. That's really all there is, dude. I wonder if living down here ever makes its wings moldy. Yeah! It's too gross to even think about it. Yeah, then maybe don't think about it, Goombella. Ow. Okay. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. In the long run, spring, Spin Jump is actually such a goaded move. Like, it's such... Okay. At the Ultra Boot level, I want to compare it. Hold on. So like right now, spin jump and my power bounce or my power jump badge roughly do the same damage. They both do six damage, which is fair. But at ultra boot rank, my um spin my my power jump will do only um uh eight points of damage, whereas spin jump will actually do nine. So like spin jump is such a goaded move. If you want something that doesn't have an action command that feels like it'll actually screw you up. Ow. Because, um... Whoa. Spring jump can be a little bit tricky to get the hang of because Mario's jumps off screen. So you don't, like, it's kind of hard to gauge when he's going to come down because you, all you have is his shadow to follow. So I can imagine it being hard. Bingo, let's go. I love that. That's my favorite super card. You're going down, buddy. So, like, if you want something really reliable for good damage, Spin Jump is just the move. Let's hope that one of these guys doesn't have an earthquake again. Oh, but one of them has a dizzy dial. I don't have the FP to uh, challenge that with an earth trim. Well, I guess I, I guess I could just pull out earth. Yeah. No, wait. I still can't because then it'll still be airborne. Okay, I have a better idea. Let's use a diz Let's just use our dizzy dial. Okay, well, it affected him, but will that affect his item? 
You know what? We also have super guards. Literally all we can do. And it works. Super guarding is just always the answer. Okay, let's hope that this actually somehow doesn't affect us. Okay, well, it missed Mario. Which, sure, why not? Unfortunately, it hit Koops, though, and we kind of need Koops... Well, I mean, Super Guard answer, but... Would, yeah, there we go. It would just be nice if we didn't have to rely on the Super Guard. Let's just take him down while we can. And he missed. Alright, buddy, well, you had your shot. Take him. I didn't know if I was going to ever use that Dizzy Dial otherwise. Alright, here's our boy. There's a beaten up toad lying on the ground. Alright. Ooh. I missed. But luckily I didn't get the first strike because that would have hurt. Ooh. Oh, come on! You're cheating! Alright, well, I'm 100% going to get a level up out of this. So, I'm going to Earth Tremor. Because I can take care of the first three. And while the fourth one won't die, at least it won't be that hard to kill him afterwards. Koops can just attack. Like, honestly, enemies holding life streams is only good if it's not a pokey, and I have Mrs. Mouse with me, which I do not. So, honestly, a pokey with a life stream is actually just a huge time waster because you have to go through double its HP because it always procs if you kill it. I guess this is exactly why they don't give every enemy the same odds to hold every item, because... I don't think anybody wants to challenge, like, a late game 20 HP enemy holding a freaking life shroom. I mean, it'll only restore 10 of its HP, but still. Ow. Yeah, I'm also not good at super guarding a pokey yet. I'm still, like, I'm still not fully good at super guarding a lot of enemies. Like, there are some things I'm really good at. Projectiles seem to be a little bit more of my strong point. But, um, everything else, like, this, like, a lot of things I'm still working on. Alright, um, I'm gonna be 100% real. I wanted to do BP, but looking at how my FP is still 10, I kind of want the FP boost. I've been running low on it. So, we'll take FP this time around. I'll do BP next time, because, again, my big thing right now is that Quick Change choke eats up a lot of my BP. And, like, it's a very good badge, and I kind of want it on at all times. Wait, it's- he was the one saying it was the beaten up toad on the ground. Wait, what? Yeah, I did come here to save you. I have to get back to him alive. Show me the way out. Yeah, we just have to go do two more floors, buddy. We're almost there. Yeah, long episode. But I'm trying to cut out some of the in-between, so this might not actually be half an hour. It might be, though. Who knows? So this guy, yeah, this should not be too hard. Um, well... Actually, this works. Get them on the ground so that Koops can attack them. It probably would have been a lot better than chipping at them with Goombella or Flurry who do two points of damage. Next episode, before I go, before we move on, I'm going to cook up the, the items that I have, because I know I have at least two, and I'm going to upgrade my partners, because there's no way I'm dr jumping into Chapter 3 without an upgraded partner. And hopefully we'll be able to get, it. maybe if I'm lucky, I'll be able to get two of them. Um, how many Shine Sprites do I have? Six, beauty, okay, we're good. All right, let's get out of here. We're taking our winnings and we're leaving. All right, buddy, I'll see you up there. Pine Toad Jr. and Pine Toad Sr. and Fire Drive, one, arguably the best offensive hammer badge. Not the best hammer badge, I think that, that 
goes to piercing blow. My dad's back. Sorry for troubling you. I guess healthy health and family really are the most important things, you know? I'll look for new work. I've got to be strong for my dear son. Thank you so, so much. I'll give you my treasure as a reward. It's really important to me, but nothing's more important than my dad here. So here. Wow, kid. You're lucky. Now, if you'll excuse us, and really, thank you so very much. Wow. I'm not going to say too much, but that, that does hit pretty hard right now. All right, in any case, that'll be it for this episode. Tune in next time because we finished all the troubles. There's not really too much else we can do. So we'll be jumping into Chapter 3 pretty fast now. So I'll see you guys next time.